Hugo culture has been used for centuries in Eastern Europe and particularly in Germany. Hugo culture is a word that stands for wood culture or mound culture. Hugo culture is a form of gardening or farming that is a technique. It is building up logs along a landform on contour and planting on top of it. Hugo culture is very beneficial because over the years the wood breaks down and acts as a sponge as well as providing nutrients to the plants that are growing on top of it. For many farmers, this technique helps provide fertility as well as reducing irrigation. This video is an introduction to designing Hugo culture beds. There will be pictures from the Permaculture 2011 course at College of Lake County. And you will see how we built a Hugo culture bed and how it will function. The first thing we did was determine where we should place our Hugo culture bed. We designed for this bed by picking the lowest spot in the plot that we were growing in. Therefore, all the water that runs to this spot will be wicked up through the Hugo culture bed before leaving our landscape. Once we decided on a spot, we needed to determine the contour of the land. We then took a level, you can use an A-frame or a laser level to do this, and we took points on the land to determine how the contour ran. When we found this out, we placed yellow flags where the contour was so that we could dig along that line. We then started digging. We dug a four foot deep bed that ranged along eight feet. You can go as deep as you want and you can go as high up as you want. We decided to do a four foot deep bed so that it would retain as much moisture as possible. Some people do their hugel culture beds all the way down to their water table if they're having flooding issues on the downward slope of that bed. Then we decided to put in our woody debris. We stacked up the woody debris with the largest logs on the bottom, medium size to small logs and shredded debris. When gathering materials there are a few things to keep in mind. First is what do you have on hand and what can you easily access? Second is what kind of wood and materials can you use that can't be used for other things? And the last thing to keep in mind is that you would like to place these logs and this debris in a way that it can fit together. So here we stepped on our logs, we made sure that they had somewhat of a close pattern that they could all fit in. Typically you do not want to use cedar or walnut as they have allelopathic characteristics which means they could be problematic for any plants that you decide to grow on your hugo culture bed. You will want to look for fallen logs, brush, or other twigs and branches that have already been decaying and are easily put into this bed. Next thing you'll want to do is add some sort of nitrogen back to your bed because this woody debris will provide a large amount of carbon as it breaks down. So in our case, we took various prairie grasses and even some branches of locust tree that were still green. You can also add manure or well composted kitchen scraps to this next layer. You would like a good amount of nitrogen, but you do want to be careful with manures because oftentimes they can be too heavy in nitrogen and they can burn your plants. After you have a considerable amount of greens and nitrogen back on that bed, you'll want to add your topsoil. You can Gently add your topsoil back to the bed. 
You want at least one to two inches of topsoil covering your bed. You may also want to add a layer of mulch on top. It depends on what you would like to do, but some people water each layer of their hugo culture bed in order to give it some moisture to start, while some people just wait for a heavy rain to soak in the moisture into these logs. Here we have our finished bed. We will plant various different things in this bed. We have already planted some Jerusalem artichokes, which are tubers, and they will produce a windbreak for us out here. But you can also add many different berry bushes or even semi-dwarf fruit trees and nut trees that need lots of moisture, which this bed will provide. Please keep in mind that this is just one way to make a hugo culture bed, and there are many variations with many different materials that you can put in.